Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Ridley. I use the AxoTrack needle guidance system for all of my central lines, and I have developed some techniques that I would like to share with you. I hope you find them helpful. There are times when the central venous pressure is so low that regardless of patient positioning, the internal jugular vein will remain flat. And in these situations, it is very difficult to avoid backwalling the IJ as you go through the anterior wall of the vessel. And even when you get the bevel of the needle into the vein, it's tough to maintain that position for guide wire feeding. AxoTrack enables a supraclavicular approach for central venous access that can help with this challenge. The supraclavicular approach has traditionally been performed as a blind technique. But now, with AxoTrack's unique geometry, this approach can easily be performed under real-time ultrasound guidance. It will be necessary to increase the depth of view deeper than you would for an internal jugular vein cannulation. I usually set it between 5 and 6 centimeters. Start preloading the needle by rotating the needle clamp fully forward with your thumb to the open position such that the needle guide opening is unobstructed. Then place the magnet against the proximal end of the magnet rail to stabilize the needle as you move the needle tip into alignment with the needle guide opening. To maintain needle sharpness, avoid hitting the needle tip against any surface as it is preloaded into the needle guide. With the needle in the guide, Move the needle forward and backward. As you do this, confirm the needle movement is mirrored by the virtual needle movement on the sonogram. Now, move the needle until its tip is just protruding from the base of the sterile shield and confirm on the sonogram that the virtual tip is visible at the top of the sonogram. Observing that needle movement is synchronized and that the virtual needle tip is properly located on the sonogram confirms that the system is ready for use. At this point, retract the needle slowly until the virtual needle just barely disappears from the sonogram. Then secure the needle in place by rotating the needle clamp backward with your thumb to the closed position. Check to be sure that the needle tip is not protruding from the bottom of the sterile shield. Hold continuous gentle pressure on the needle clamp to maintain the needle in its safe, retracted position during patient scanning and until you are ready to advance the needle toward its target. Next, I will show you on our model an example of how to perform a supraclavicular central line using AxoTrack. When positioning the patient for this procedure, it is helpful to put a towel roll between the shoulder blades. Place a liberal amount of sterile gel in the probe on the lower neck. Track the internal jugular vein down to the level of the clavicle to a position between the two heads of the sternocleidomastoid muscles. In this location, you should see the lower portion of the internal jugular vein. While still maintaining gentle pressure on the needle clamp, rotate the probe into the coronal plane. As you rotate the probe into this plane, Point the target line straight into the junction of the internal jugular vein and the subclavian vein. Here, the vessels join to form the inanimate vein, or the right brachiocephalic vein. This is a huge pool of venous fluid that is supported by the surrounding structures and therefore doesn't collapse under the pressure of the needle tip. Furthermore, because of the coaxial alignment of the needle path and the right inanimate vein, it's almost impossible to backwall the vessel. 
Here's a look at the sonogram from an actual procedure. At the level of the clavicle, the internal jugular vein and the carotid artery are clearly identifiable. As the probe rotates toward the coronal plane, you can see the low IJ carotid artery and the subclavian artery taking off from the brachiocephalic trunk. As the probe rotates further toward the coronal plane, the lung pleura defining the inferior border of the subclavian vein and the lateral border of the anonymate vein appears as a distinct bright streak on the right side of the ultrasound image. With the on-screen target line parallel to the lung pleura, hold the needle assembly and syringe approximately as shown and note that it may be necessary to tip the probe as shown to align the target line with the anonymate vein. Release the needle by rotating the needle clamp fully forward with the thumb to the open position. Then, while keeping the magnet against the magnet rail, advance the needle and observe the virtual needle cannulate the vessel, which is confirmed by blood flash in the syringe. Actuate the needle clamp with continuous gentle pressure to secure the needle tip in place. Pop the syringe off the needle by pinching the space between the syringe and the needle hub. Check that the needle bevel is facing up and with the open side of the J of the guide wire also facing up, advance the guide wire. The guide wire entering the vein can often be observed in real time on the sonogram. While holding continuous gentle pressure on the needle clamp, Withdraw the probe and needle over the guide wire, gripping the guide wire between the thumb and first or second finger once the needle tip clears the skin surface. Continue with the Seldinger technique.